Hello everyone, Sam is here from myforestmagicwave.com uh, Making this a small video after a while Been very very busy Trying to make an EA out of my strategy Not easy, don't know the language but uh, Need to do it um, Try to give it to uh, and get it done by some other people But uh, they just took off with my ideas so now I'm trying to do it myself. Anyway, um, this is a small video I wanted to show. I was a few people asking about this pattern. And um, since one of these uh, pair was, um, you know, according to this pattern, it's, it's, it's the b very, very basic pattern, which we call it AB is equal to CD, you know, like AB is equal to CD. It's just that, you know, you have one um, big leg uh, move from A, this capital, you can see the B, marking uh with blue a b then c and d could be here 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 three possibilities usually price goes um either 100 percent of this a means 100 percent means the equality it, you know exactly equal depending where it is starts okay if it starts from here it would be equal from here to maybe somewhere here would be 100 percent okay um, so uh, you just you can take a duplicate and place uh, from the, you know at, at the end of point C here, and you can see you know exactly 100%. So that's what the 100% is uh, all about. Usually people say AB is equal, is equal to 27%. I don't know. I don't understand. I mean, I mean even I wrote it here, right? But this is not actual AB is equal to CD. Is is AB is equal to CD 127% of AB? Okay, and CD here is equal to 1.618% of AB, means this uh, C to D here is 127% of AB, so it is not equal, okay, so, well that's the way the market um, uh, calls for it, so, but here is the main uh, AB is equal to CD is right here 100%, that is uh, true mathematically uh, AB is equal to CD. So that's what happens uh, if this C point is very important in this pattern. When you have A, B, C, uh, capital C here, right? Then the price goes up here in the middle of this B, C, right? And uh, this is very important. If it's not going above this, if it is not taking out this, then it is coming down and will take out this low here at C point and create a Gertley pattern. Or maybe go down even further, you know, like these points, 100%, 127%, 100% of this, or 127, or 1.618, you know, it depends, all right? So you just have to watch out with the probabilities, what could happen. But if the C point uh, takes out this B here, then it usually goes to 100%, very easy, okay, almost, almost, uh, uh, always for sure. Uh, may go up to 127 and 1.618 now if it goes to only 100 percent then the the most possible uh, probability is that this is a correction of a big down move which probably happened on this side here so maybe a move came down here and then you have a b c 100 percent that's a correction as wave two and then you go down for a wave three what what did i do where is my pattern go? Oh me, I touch that and then it go boom. Okay, it's somewhere here, here. Okay. So, um, but if it goes beyond this hundred percent here, one twenty-seven percent at this point, then there's a very good possibility that uh, it could be either an or. Uh, either or means uh, it could be a correction still you know a b c d as a wave two and then go down for a third wave or it could be wave one two and three and then it will drop 38 percent as wave four and then go again go up for wave five in Elliott wave count so uh, at this point uh, 127 percent of AB uh, you have both possibilities uh, it could be either or <laughs> okay either an impulse wave or a correction but if it goes to 1.618 of AB this CD leg all the way here if you uh, place a Fibonacci tool you see 1.618 95 percent times this is wave 3 
which will be followed by wave 4 to 38 percent of wave 3 and then goes up again for wave 5 so these are the scenarios and I just want to show you how I was tracking a pair for hundreds of uh, front in thousands of not thousands but more than a thousand pip so far in two months it was very easy and I posted the charts uh, along the way all right so let's go and take a look what I'm talking about this chart this pair is um, Aussie yen okay the chart that I first uh, well the first I made when it, it was going up here you know these three monthly this is a monthly chart of Aussie yen and you can notice uh, here that this pattern was completed here the side wave movement and this was like wave one and then a b c correction wave two and this is wave one two and then we were going up uh, it could be a triangle but you know if it's like uh, a b c d e but you know the fact that you know these are equal uh, bottom and this high is above this so it's just like a very crooked type of uh, triangle so i wouldn't call it a triangle i was I would call it a side wave, uh, a B wave, which will be followed by a C wave. So uh, I, I thought maybe that, you know, it is probably making a B is equal to C D pattern and the 100% was coming exactly to this high here. So that makes even more probable uh, for that. So going up <coughs> was several trades like um uh, the, the the last uh, the leg was uh, remember this um, i sent out to all my subscribers and uh, even uh, probably uh, posted a video here that this level could be a springboard because that was i think that was the last uh, you know it was a bounce from here and it was going up for 104 level over there and uh, it's a very very possibility uh, so that's exactly what happens if you can see that you know um, i had several buy order here and they all took off all the way down and finish that um, big leg uh, on the monthly chart okay so we reached up here somewhere and got out and this was my uh, turning point I was hoping that we will make a turn here so as you can see that we really good make a very very nice turn from there starting from this chart okay so this is how it is that if you um, pay attention to longer time frame and then uh, wait and anticipate um, that you know uh, what will happen if notice that um, I have this here a lot of people say that you can see, see I said we may flip to the downside from here the, the idea is that uh, I, I mean I didn't say that we must or we should or we will flip to the downside because you know it's just like a prediction predicting the trillion dollar market you know uh, I'm not even <laughs> dropping the C <laughs> Yeah, how can I do that? But it's just the uh, probabilities uh, based on these studies, you know, harmonic patterns, uh, calculation with the Fib, uh, Fibonacci tool numbers, and as well as Elliott waves in support resistance trend lines. That's all there is. If you learn it properly, it becomes very easy. So here I says, okay, we can easily pop this and go up to this high. Okay, no, nothing could stop, right? Uh, you know, but 100% was exactly this area. So I said, well, if this pattern usually has a reaction, okay. So if this one, if we have one, two, and this is three, then we probably get a reaction here, and we come down here to this, you know, as a wave four, and then continue going wave five, maybe to this high. And um, uh, actually, that's exactly what we are doing now. So we start coming down here. You see that nice and clean. This is a four-hour chart, you know. But but you see, th basically, recently, what happened is that you can see this chart exactly from there, this point, and this this was also the channel. See, this a lot of things are come together. They are all interrelated. You know, channels, support resistance, trend lines, harmonic patterns, Elliott wave. They are all connected together. All you just have to find it, you know common point so uh, the channel hit uh, Fibonacci hit 100% and resistance hit start dropping and I said told we may drop flip right and this flip so far believe me or not is 1400 pips in two months we are coming down to this area now and uh, this is a um, free trade that I'm giving it to you so here's we again you know these are ca I call it stations this was an station for a long trade because support this is the station because of the resistance and the trend line and 100%. So now this could be a station again. 
or we can easily break that and come down to this trend line and that will be in the station and that's these are the stations that we usually make a turn so just watch out for that so you know this is uh, uh, the pattern this is a b c d you can see that here right so 100 percent and then you see this is uh, how easy it is a b c d it could go higher this this but usually you have a reaction so some sort of reaction and we are having the reaction very nice and clean and uh, along the way uh, I just show you that we were going up we uh, we did that so we were coming down you see this uh, this is a chart 13 May I says okay this is again a pair the small patterns you know within a big move uh, what you do is that you will go you know four hour chart one hour chart you see these small patterns and then use the magic wave strategy like going down we use this these are the go you know down setups uh, and um, you know easily pick up like 100 and this is a trade 140 pip you know five minute chart entry 15 minute chart entry, even one minute chart entries um several of them you can find uh, always right see right here this on may 31st nice and clean beautiful drop and this was also here somewhere was a um, you know five minute entry drop so uh, see this one was a small pattern on a four hour uh, going down and then as a s especially when i know that we are coming down so you try to avoid this it was a possibility right again always I say maybe going down or maybe going up depend on the price action the price action is the key so if we would pop here somewhere then I would look for a long entry and then go here and then look for the short entry but if instead of uh, breaking this trend line and the price broke this trend line rising trend line here and then as soon as it start dropping here find a short entry and you can see all the way down to my target here similarly again uh, last week I had another chart uh, send out this one again so all these calculation and everything so that if you says well this it uh, this is small um, blue thin lines it's a triangle so a triangle can break on both sides especially this one okay the main move is was up right so the triangle on the after a dip could break to the to the upside easily but my monthly chart was telling me that we are going down we're supposed to go down to this support here okay and uh, here also you know it's like a strong d down move so I said well instead of going up if we can break uh, you know find a, a, a short entry that would be great and that that is exactly what happened uh, this trend line we hit the trend line and posted this s strong big bearish candle daily candle and after that you know all I have to do is finding these entries using my magic wave strategy my these are indicators confirming and then you know nice and clean so this is uh, the one chart that I want to show you that this is what was happening uh, easy harmonic pattern or Elliott wave you can call it we may be coming down as a fourth wave here okay this is one two three four um, and then we go back again for, for the fifth wave to this high whatever it is I don't know then oh this is 107.83 okay or if we may bounce a little bit and then drop a uh, break it and then come down to this trend line so we will see you know how we react here uh, last week I sent out the chart sh sh telling that you know we probably gonna bounce from this was I think uh, 94.03 or something um, the area 94 if I have this chart here maybe maybe not that was ASEAN yeah that was ASEAN no not this but anyway um, let it go I save it somewhere else I guess hmm all right so um that's what it is yeah so we're gonna be uh you know probably bouncing from here and um and we did bounce a little bit you know like maybe 100 pip bounce and now uh i don't know i mean we may drop again and break it and then you know come to this trend line or go up so let's see what happens uh comes weekly uh, uh next week uh, but you see how this uh this you know patterns and um everything you know calculated moves calculated moves so 
um, this is uh, this forex business is all about this learning and you know calculating and this and that it's not the easy uh, quick way to make money <laughs> okay so you have to do your uh, you know due diligence and hard work learn it's like a bachelor degree you know it's like four hour five hour i mean four, four <laughs> not hours uh, four year five year six year you know bachelor or master degree that you do <laughs> in college you know, different subjects so this is how long it takes uh, sometimes uh, if you learn on your own and if you so you know learn by you know some teacher or mentor then it is a little bit uh, quicker but it still need, need a lot of time a lot of effort hard work a lot of understanding and study all right so if you want to learn and you know study and all that uh, join my webinars that's where i you know teach all these mumbo jumbos harmonic patterns and elliot waves and you know almost everything so this is it i just want to show you this thanks for watching have a great day